Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me Anurgi and today I'll be reviewing the movie Black Swan. So obviously spoiler alert if you haven't seen this movie and you want to see it so don't watch this video and watch the movie first. If I have to explain this movie in one line I'd say that perfectionism and happiness don't go hand in hand. Like you can either have one of them. So without wasting any time let's get started with the story. Okay so the movie starts with the main character Nina who is a ballet dancer and in her ballet she gets to perform as the main character of Swan Lake and there are two parts of this part she has to play one is the white swan and the su second one is the black swan now white swan was usually you know known for its purity its innocence the childhood nature the girl part and the black swan was basically the womanhood version of it it was more seductive it was more mature it was more you know more adult and we are shown that how nina you know she could easily perform the white swan part but she really struggled at the black swan the reason uh, why she struggles so much at the black swan is because nina even in her personal life represents the white swan Throughout the movie, we see Nina's mom, you know, who used to be a ballet dancer at her time, but she had to leave her career because of Nina. And, you know, she wanted to make Nina a ballet dancer now. And her mom is very overprotective and, you know, she wants to save that childish side of Nina. She in the movie, when we see Nina's room, you know, it's fully covered in pastels. It has a lot of to soft toys. And, you know, even Nina dresses in all those baby pink whitish colors showing that she was still in her childish phase at that time her mom really saved her from the outside world she tried to do that and she was very overprotective of nina she would treat her just like an 11 year old girl but however during this play during the time of during the rehearsals and everything you know the, uh, nina's teacher thomas he really tried to bring out the black swan in her because in order to perform the character, she needed to understand it in real life as well. And Thomas believed that Nina was lacking at it. So throughout the movie, Nina is shown as a perfectionist. She is so passionate for ballet, like at a point it gets over her. Like the passion for ballet overpowers everything else, her own self. And throughout the movies, we see that how Nina pays extra attention to ballet. You know, even when she's alone, she's out somewhere, she keeps practicing and you know, she hurts herself and she tortures herself just to get perfect in that art but as we know perfect doesn't exist like there's no such thing as perfect and that is what even her teacher tries to tell her right Thomas keeps telling her that she was focusing on the technique when she needed to lose herself perfection was about losing herself and you know like not scared to be not perfect that was perfection for the black swan's performance but however nina couldn't do that she tried to so hard but she couldn't do that there's another character shown in the movie that is lily now like lily is a person you know who's carefree she can be seductive she can be fun she can be really nice to be around and at the same time she's great at ballet it's not like she's lacking behind in fact there's a scene shown you know where um lily is performing that black swan part and she's doing it so gracefully that even thomas points out look she's not trying to be that it's so effortlessly coming out of her and Nina was really envious of Lily and obviously if you've seen this movie it is pretty much obvious that in this movie Nina is suffering from some kind of mental disorder you know where she uh, imagines things and has a lot of hallucinations and throughout the movie you know uh, according to her point of view the whole world was coming to get her and she was just trying to save herself she was trying to perform her part and in through her subconscious you know lily was the main villain like lily tried to get her high she uh, tried to get her to not perform and lily. coincidentally lily was actually kept as an alternate black swan so that made nina even more jealous and insecure from the very start of the movie you know we are we are shown a hallucination that nina sees around her at first they are very subtle and you know very simple but as the movie grows forward we see that they are getting higher and higher and they're actually hurting her in her physical world right and it gets to a point where we can't differentiate what's real and what's not because we are seeing the movie from her point of view 
you know throughout the movie we see that she does a lot of things you know she starts maturing and everything so she actually in her real life she starts converting from the white to the black swan now she when it's her final performance day you know she does her white swan part that she was very perfect at from the very beginning now when it came for her black swan part you know she went to her room and she imagined lily over there that lily was trying to get to the part and she was trying to be black swan and that's when you know they got into a fight and Nina didn't realize she took a little piece of mirror and she stabbed Lily with it right and then she didn't have time she was so consumed by the art she was so consumed by ballet and this performance and this title that she wanted it so bad that she even killed Lily in her subconscious then she went on to perform the black swan and when she did that she actually felt herself you know like actually converting into the black swan in front of the audience and she did it so gracefully this time everyone was so pleased and like she had actually turned into the black swan in real life as well like she was free she was letting go of everything she was letting go of the fears in her she was more mature and everything now everyone was pleased everyone was happy but when she returned back to the backstage she saw lily over there and that's when you know she was so confused and that's when she realized what she did was she actually had stabbed herself after that now only the last part the last scene was left of the ballet so she went and performed that scene in that scene basically the white swan gets killed so she has to jump off from that top position she does that she falls to the ground and she and she had already stabbed herself and that's when she dies and the last thing that she says before dying is that it was perfect everything was perfect and that is how the movie ends so basically you know uh, if we look at it from different perspectives there's a lot to learn and you know analyze in this movie number 1 you cannot be perfect you can never be perfect enough like all right you just have to accept the way you are and you don't have to push your boundaries you don't need to do that uh second thing is like you cannot please everyone like uh, throughout the movie you know if lily would have tried to be herself and had thought like what was good for me what did i want she didn't do that she was trying to please her mom being the white swan and she even wanted to please her teacher being the black swan and she wanted to be so good at both the parts at both the sides of the world which was not humanly possible she ended up dead right being passionate about something is great but when that passion overpowers you to a level where you can't even control your own actions that is not very healthy so you know we need to maintain all the spheres in life we need to keep our life balanced so that is what this movie tells us so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and also make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification that notification bell so that you get notifications every time i post and until next time see you